Hello, you guys. Welcome back again. Um, Nikki Hall, the Watchman on the Wall. Listen, so here is a, a powerful video that I need to share um, and warn against. Um, there are a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm bringing this particular channel in uh, my box uh, on this video to warn, but there are also other channels that is doing this and i'm putting this warning out because next year there's going to be a lot of judgment going on and this is a open rebuke to channels that practice and do such things and speak evil and ill wishes and for the sake of uh clickbait or for the sake of this is a ill will manipulation Okay, to get the to get the likes, to get the um, you know, to, to so you can continue to get the money, so you can continue to get uh, all the increase. And uh, this is a form of manipulation. And the Bible says manipulation, okay, is is also a form of witchcraft. Okay. So I want to star news and any other video that does these type of practices. I need to warn you today as a watchman on the wall. I need to warn you why, because next year, this coming year in a couple of days is a year of manifestation. Okay. Words have Power and in a bit, I'm gonna show you what these words, what the scripture says about words and how they have power. Okay, not you, my friend, have power, but your words have power. Let's look at it in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse. I'm gonna start up at 20 to 21. It says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. That's why the Lord tell us that we have not because we ask not. And if we decree a thing, it shall be done. If you go back in the book of uh, in, the, in the book of Genesis with Adam, Adam spoke and named the animals and it was, okay? God spoke and created the earth and it was, okay? Verse 22 says, I'm sorry, verse 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hello. Okay. Death and life is in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So this is an open rebuke to Star News Channel and every other channel that is participating in this type of evil, speaking evil over people's lives so you can get the looks, so you can get the subscribers, so you can get the increase, so you can continue have the commercials and you can continue get the money for clickbait. But I'm here to tell you and rebuke you, it is not of God to speak such ill wishes and death over people because this is witchcraft. And the Bible says that he suffer a witch not to live lest they repent. And I decree and declare that you shall repent today because as I said, next year is a year of manifestation. You definitely want to uh, repent of such practices and any form of any other channel that is doing such things like this. I'm going to give you a prime example. Listen to these titles. Tamar Braxton has died, nearly paying for pressures from reality. Has died. Okay. We are heartbroken to report tragic death of iconic John uh, Don Cheadle. 
with a heavy heart before the final farewell of 56-year-old singer Janet Jackson. Uh, American Idol winner Jordan Sparks has died nearly after horrendous family. Come on. Gospel singer Tina Campbell has passed away. I rebuke all these ill wishes, words. I decree and declare that all these spoken over these people shall fall to the ground and die. Even said the same thing about Tasha Cobb. And then I've seen videos where this person on this channel speaking evil about, they tried to say that uh, something happened to, uh, what is her name? Gladys Knight. And was calling her Aretha Franklin. I mean, confusing the stars. They would th th these this channel was saying one person had lost their life, but then had a picture of another star, and 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 then one of these 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 people have um uh, this accent. You can't even speak good English, and you and you calling out these people's names and putting their names in the sentences and people asking why there's so many stars dying. I'm going to tell you right now, I am not giving, I'm not saying that uh, <laughs> nobody have no power greater than my God. That's why I'm sitting on here telling you right now, it is time for you to repent because the Lord said every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Okay? But this is just to tell you, words have power. The enemy loves to grab that, take it, make it manifest in the earth, unless there is somebody that know their God that shall do exploits. Come on, saints of God. Hello that can come against with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, with the rock of our salvation, and decree and declare, Lord, and quote that word in Psalms 140 and say, Lord, let no evil speaker be established in the earth realm concerning these people's lives. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit up over you. You guys share this video. If you know somebody that has a channel that is doing such evil stuff like this, because what made me look, somebody said that one of the uh, Mary Mary sisters, uh, hello? I'm like, what? And then tons of stars just continually speaking that negative stuff, evil. And stars are dying everywhere. Every time you turn on news, you hear left and right, evil people. That's why the Bible says, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth realm. And you guys, when you pray, say in any form or any language. In Jesus' name, God have mercy, Jesus.